This is a Can M50. This is a USB cable. In this video, I'll show you how to tell the shoot photos with the Can M50. Oh, yeah! In this video, I show you how to tether shoot photos with the Can M50. Now, what is tethered shooting, you may ask? Now, tethered shooting is when you connect the camera like the Can M50 to the computer. This allows it to automatically download the photos to the computer for real time viewing, or the best part is you can remote shoot from the computer. So, when you connect the computer to the camera, you can set all the settings on the computer and then remote shoot, remote trigger the camera to shoot photos. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Let's jump in to the computer and let's see how to do this. Oh yeah! This is Canon's EOS utility software. This software will allow you to tether shoot photos with the Canon M50. Now here's the link. I'll leave you a link down in the description below. And all you gotta do is go to this link and scroll down and find the camera, the Canon EOS M50. Now scroll down to EOS utility and make sure you pick Mac or PC depending on what you use and press download. After you download this, install it. Now that we have installed Can EOS Utility, let's make sure we plug in the USB micro into the Can M50 and the other side of the USB cable into the computer. Oh yeah. Now, after you do this, let's load the Can EOS Utility. Now, as you can see, I have Can EOS Utility 3. I'm gonna load this one. When you install Canon EOS Utility, it will install all three, one, two, and three. Now to run the M50, you gotta run EOS Utility 3. See, EOS Utility 3, so load number three. Not two, not one, number three, load three. Okay, now we have three options here. We can download images to computer. That basically takes what's on the SD card and put it onto your computer somewhere. Now, remote shooting is what we're here for, or you can camera settings, you can up update all this, do that. But we're here for a tethered shooting. Oh yeah. Okay guys, let's go into the tethered shooting, the remote shooting here. So we have a few options here. Look at this, look at this. You control all of this in the camera. Now, I have the camera on. Make sure the camera is turned on when you do this. And this is my experience and hint. Set to manual because you want to have full control in the computer. Now this layout is basically what you see in camera. It can control everything. So let's focus. This is a shot right here. So if you hover over here, you can see it's it's uh, focusing. Now you can control shutter, aperture, shutter, aperture. You can control white balance. You can control the shooting mode or the drive mode, exposure metering. You control the ISO. You can see if you want to raw, I shoot raw, shoot raw. And what does this do? Ooh, this is where you uh, save images. Computer only, computer, camera, memory card, memory card only. Now, we are oh, this here, flash settings, setup. Now this is pretty cool here. If you go here, live shoot, you can take photos and see what you're shooting at the same time. Yep. Now, as you can see, I shot the photos and you can see them. They show up right here. So let's close this live preview, and if you don't want that, you can do quick preview. Say you don't want the live shoot, but you want the other options here, you can go quick preview, and every time you shoot a photo, <laughs> it, it shows up. It downloads right here, and it'll just show you. Pretty, it's pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool, I like it, I like it. Okay guys, but yeah. So keep in mind, right here, this button right here, I, I, I missed this one here. But right here is where it will save the pictures too. So if you do that, you can browse and you can choose wherever you want to save your images. Okay guys, this is tethered shooting for the Canon M50. This is using the Canon EOS utility software, which as of when I'm making this movie, which is uh, June 20th, at 10:25 p.m., this is the only way you can tether shoot with a computer because the Lightroom tether shooting does not work yet. And in the next video, I will show you 
how it doesn't work and why it doesn't work and work around so you can use Lightroom in your workflow if you wish to do that. Okay guys, like this video if you like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or just hit me up on the comments below with anything you wish to see next. Okay guys, thank you for watching and until the next time, peace out. Oh yeah.